so actually, I'm just going to give you a, sort of a travelogue of what happened during the trip and what kind of influenced uh, the entire uh, idea of attending the ICOM. Um, it's one of the most important, siguro na, natural history uh, conferences. If there's actually, ICOM is quite big, it includes arts and anthropology, so Yung Nat His Community has its own set of conference. And at certain times, there is a general conference. So the general conference will be on 2019. So, this is the for natural history. It's quite fitting because just before the ICOM Nat His, we have a place. So it was fitting because it was a way to convene all the natural history uh, collections and the ideas and the standards that we have, and then bring it up to a meeting um, in the States for an international uh, version of the same set of ideas and standards for natural history collections. So we thought of that at, at putting it somewhere from clay to ICOM, expanding that set of linkages that we have uh, from a national level to a global level. So as you know, we are here at the Museum of Natural History. It is the uh, official Museum of Natural History of the University of the Philippines. Of the University of the Philippines, not just Los Banos, but the system, because it was created by the Board of Regents in September 1976. Um, it was also put together from the, collect the teaching collections of most of the units, and also quite famous taxonomists of the time. Um, as because of the UD Charter, being recognized as the national university, put the two together, now we are sort of the national university museum of natural history. And originally it was created under the office of the chancellor, but for better uh, administration, it is under the office of the vice chancellor for research and extension. It's quite good because there are a lot of us which convene together uh, under the management of the uh, We are the I would say the second largest in terms of collection in the country. Um, of course, the National Depository is still the National Museum um, at half a million um, specimens. And because of that, we always look up to our big brother, as we call it, the <coughs> National Museum System, um, which is, of course, part of the National Commission for the Culture and the Arts. It's a bit odd, no? Because natural history is more science, but yet, because of the museum aspect, it's under NCCA. Um, we are actually recognized, if you look at the website of NCCA, and then we a Southern Luzon cluster. And of course, if you look through the website of the NCCA, it's, not, it's quite interesting that they already have a set of standards. And of course, there are general standards throughout muse museology. It's not just natural history. So, for example, general paintings, mbote, <laughs> mga jars, mga mummies. So, everything is kind of have these standard models that encompasses all the units. And of course, much of it also is placed under the heritage law, which hopefully we could also adopt, in a sense, to the MH. And yes, that is the new Natural History Museum of the National Museum System. And the data parang yan. Apart from that, Malami faces a museum. So the museum is part of a general committee which manages the Mount Makikilin Forest Reserve. Um, we do stand as a member for biodiversity. We do have the biodiversity and the security. It's difficult putting that together. We do have to do it. So interesting that it's not just, of course, um, uh, another part of the university takes care of that role. And of course, we are in charge of putting together at least um, a manageable list of organisms, microbes, the mammals, that represent species in Mount Makiri. So hopefully that is our mandate. Actually, part of the original mandate of the museum is to catalog the species, of the, uh, species found within Mount Makiri. Apart from that, we're also part of the greater Los Banos community, uh, Los Banos science community. That's why we uh, participate Although in a yearly uh, mm -hmm. as a But we are recognized in terms of tourism as part of that loop. There are other in international organizations managing national history collections, uh, one on the university sense and the other on small collection sense. So one is UMAC, University Museums and Collections. It's uh, 
in a way also related to ICOM, um, but not all universities, because it's in ICOM means more, may mga subcommittees, so the Committee of Arts, Anthropology, and Natural History. There are also sub units in terms of um, saan sila nakikita. Whether it's an arts museum per se, or a university museum. So, pwede ka mag-check doon ng, ng types pa nga doon sa, sa kanilang uh, categories. So, UMAP is one of them because it more centers more on university museums. And because we also attended 2015, no? when it was hosted by, of course, the first natural history museum in the Philippines, University of Santo Tomas. So, doon nakalagay yung mga collections ni Rizal. <laughs> Another is SPNHC. Uh, Society for Preservation of Natural History Collections. So it actually centers more on small herbaria, not just with university museums, but rather units which has distinct collections. Um, it was introduced to us by these people uh, who arrived. We actually had a, a nice partnership with Henrik Bertag of the Ateneo de Manila University. Um, so he brought along people from uh, members of SPNHC, including the Berlin Museum. Um, it's interesting that it's a Gen C, Name, but um, the one with the Pringles na bigote. Uh, and he used to work with the Natural History Museum. He was um, the curator. He um, managed the botanical collection. And he moved because he was offered a job to be director of the Berlin Museum. He moved to Berlin. He was his wife. His wife was great, great granddaughter of Darwin. Related to Darwin. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's actually because James was supposed to present a paper. Actually, gonna publish na dun sa anilang online two-page pang parang siya article. Kaso, bakit hindi kaya natalo eh? Ah, nasa Sibuyan pa siya. No time to get the Schengen visa. Pinong pinagpalit siya siya. Sibuyan, he loves Sibuyan, pinagpalit siya siya Schengen visa to attend this, uh, the Estonian agency in Berlin. So, yun, the firm naman so pwede pa kumatend tulad. Locally, we have other um, kang, uh, organizations or societies that put together museums. Of course, it encompasses not just natural history, but the historical, uh, or these may mga memoirs. So, what is Agmam? I think the museum attended one of these uh, um, events of Agmam in Manila. Uh, Agmam is the Alliance of Greater Manila Area Museums. And also we are invited to be part of the SLAM or Southern Luzon Association of Museums. But everybody wants to be part of this. Because it's very international, global reach. So ICOM, um, actually they membership booths in the attendance of Pero I realized dollar yung babahin mo doon. Meron naman palang peso value. So, you can actually pay membership to ICOM Philippines, through ICOM Philippines. They have this website. Um, alam ko hindi pa to, it's not yet updated in terms of how much you pay for uh, annual fee to I, This is the annual fee, not the joining fee, that's the annual fee. So, individual membership is about 25, 2,000 to 25. So, if you want to be a membership, a member of at ICOM, you do so. There's a, uh, online forms. Institutional membership is about 15,000. So that is what we think we wanted to claim for the Museum of Natural History, is to gain memberships. So it's called, it is important because it, it, once you get gain membership, it is recognition within the International Council of Museums. And the perks, there's several perks, of course, reduce your buy-in for registration during the conferences. There is a significant discount. And also, there's functions. May some function na hindi natin, na kasi di ako member. Para may soiree or something. So, yun. Marami naman purpose. Yung 15,000. <laughs> of course, you can bring as many people as you want. That's institutional membership. Clades, I think, was our <laughs> a standing moment for 2017. It was a highlight for 2017. It is interesting because there was also another Arts and Museum Summit ongoing that same year in Ateneo. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, they were more wider in, in coverage. Um, for us, we wanted to gather people that 
had similar concerns. Again, natural history collections, most of which are university collections, teaching collections. Also, it's the other stakeholders that would need to uh, add, have interest in natural history collections, uh, conservation groups, research groups, and even with light collections. So that is Glades, the museum summit for 2017. Of course, for those who are unfamiliar with Glades. So a culture, learning, art, design environment, and science. And for those who didn't notice, the logo actually looks like a clay, which is a phylogenetic tree, referring to all the connections that we have, not just with these uh, different um, topics, but also through our own um, taxonomy. So it is the first Philippine National History Museum and Collection Summit. We have that distinction. It can be hosted by those other stakeholders who attend. So um, there is an example that they there will be probably interested in one place again. So it's important because we can be uh, stakeholders who have natural history collections go into nationwide. See, sayang nga mabubuo sana yung northern Luzon to ano eh. Hindi dumating yung tiga Ilocos. Pero hindi dumating yung tiga Baguio. So four hours difference sa uh, geography. Pwede na yun ano? Northern Luzon pa rin. So from Baguio to Tawi-Tawi, from Palawan to Leyte. It's an amazing coverage of north, south, east, west. 185 participants, 9 keynote and uh, plenary speakers, 16 oral papers, of course, um, through the panel sessions in 22 poster present presentations. So one of the plenary sessions, he, our former director, Dr. Renair Dick Jr., um, who also had a special um, presentation of uh, a poem. So you can that if you have both the left brain and the right brain. Uh, that you have both arts, culture, and science together. So collectively had nine talks. Uh, two, of course, were given from it by international guests. Uh, one from the University of Edinburgh um, and from Hiroshima University. So if one poster session, 22 poster, posters presented, including that one, na nung araw lang namin no, nalaman na. Ah, may poster pala kami. <laughs> so, siyempre, kailangan may picture with the poster. So, that was on pioneering the Philippine Cave Microbial Diversity Research. Just a few photos. Again, new representation from MSU Tawi Tawi. Uh, one of our younger presenters from Bicol, of course, our curators. Of course, apart from that, we had clades in media. So we had to travel down to Manila for an interview uh, with DCRH sa Radio Henyo. Uh, we also had an interview which is a very interesting um, uh, article. I think you can still get it online. So I'll inquire about it. Of course, they have a lot of collaborations and sponsorships, um, including uh, from the speakers itself. I think it's one of the speakers, Maria Ben Manuel, is now heading the zoology department of the Natural History Museum. And of course, our uh, speaker from Edinburgh, Dr. R.J. Of course, we uh, uh, have uh, two of our, our sponsors. Our collaborators, Adelon Zhu, actually represented here, and of course, ACB. Ang wala lang just a picture ay Circa Crocodilus porosus Yakult Summit. Am I missing something? Of course, uh, a man, uh, uh, the, much of the support also comes from UPLB and OBC Learning. Kung ko na mention, pasensya po. Lahat so because of that, we had closer relationships with the natural, uh, the National Museum. Uh, immediately after that, Kenny didn't send a representation 
was because they were also having your soft launch of the National History Museum. So finally, at least most of us would start to travel around the world. The first thing you'd like to go to is a National History Museum. So in the Philippines, finally, aside from our own. So it's amazing because we had the opportunity to meet uh, most of the people behind uh, the formation of this. Of course, uh, after the plates, I was able to uh, attend the International Council of Museums, Natural History Committee. It was held in Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania, the other side of Pennsylvania. Is it Pennsylvania? Philadelphia is on the other side. It's actually uh, pronounced Carnegie now. I, I keep pronouncing Carnegie. Carnegie, but it's Carnegie Museum Natural History. It's a very big museum that is actually encompassing all must integrate the city. It's a bit odd because what the National Museum did was they got the National Museum system and had the separate buildings for arts, which is for the people, and anthropology, and for museum national history. But it's actually one entire large building put together. So, this is the entrance of natural history. It's the entrance of natural history. So, this is the entrance of the entrance of natural history. If you cross out to the other door, it's the entrance of architecture. So, it's the entrance of the entrance of the entrance. But it's the entrance of the entrance of the entrance. So, it's towards integration. But yes, galing nung entrance nila, meron na agad shop. Parang, ay gusto ko nung mamili. Igastos ka muna bago ka bumato. And yes, tempting talaga lahat ng mga items nila. Um, so I was there for the, this particular theme. I was actually a bit dumbfounded kasi na-realize ko, mati yata ay pinadala ko yung abstract. After nga, napadala ko. Kasi nung tingin ako ibig sabihin ng anthropocene, Ah, hindi pa rin pang match yung aking pinagala. Buti na in-accept pa rin nila yung abstract. So I was able to present it as a poster. Kung siguro na ayos ko siya in a way that goes more with the, with the theme, I would be able to give a talk. But I think it was actually fun getting the poster kasi unusual din yung system nila. So it's Anthropocene, it actually covers human impacts during that particular time period. So in they're in actually introducing this time period to be added into our timeline. Um, it's one of those um, uh, proposals. I think it is widely accepted by the Anthropocene, where humans had the greatest impact. It had changed a lot of what is what we call natural history. So kasama dyan yung urban biodiversity, your collections of natural history, extinction, invasive species or introduced species, um, Pollution or impacts with pollution impacts to the species. That's especially when you're climate change, and then you have man-made organisms. Amazing, because I'm not yung the usual hereditary changes, like selective breeding, and of course, and then the new through genomics. So everything was a bit on the age of humanity. So, there's a lot of people who had very simple, but very interesting to I think my favorite was one of what they call post-natural history. Because after the after the natural, it's more represented the Anthropocene. I don't know how to replicate it. I saw a presentation of slide that can be made. Because before she started to say, she had a distribution of 3D glasses. Para pagtigin po sa presentation, slide pa rin siya, project up pa rin, pero free. Diba? Yay! Um, it's quite interesting because he centered his talk mostly in a collection that was actually very small. He represents a museum smaller than the Museum of Natural History. Kasi mas key yung... He only has a, a, a set of key uh, exhibits. Siguro mga sampu at most na, na very significant. Kaya hindi ganun kalaki yung space nila. So kukaya pa rin. So everything, of course, pinahihiram. So one of those, pinahiram na dito sa Carnegie Museum. So it was all in display. Apart from the talks, of course, the, the poster session. Amazing yung poster session. It's the first time na umatend ako ng ganyan kalaki yung hall. 
Ganyan kalaki yung wall. Ganyan kalaki yung poster. My poster was 4 by 5 feet. Munti ko na siya hindi madala kasi ayaw ko mayroon yung mga aeroplano. Isaksak doon sa, sa overhead cabin. Ayaw din naman nilang ilagay doon sa, sa check. Eh, natatak sila. Baka daw ng security issue. Pero yun ang nakalagay sa akin. Mukha talaga siyang basukay doon na lang. So, that's weird kasi yun ang nakalagay ko sa format. You must submit and print and print your poster at 4 by 5 feet. Pero may dumating eh. Kaya malalaki yung saan. May ilan, 3 by 3. Sabi ko, hindi siya not following the instruction. <laughs> but yes, yeah, kaya kung malaki talaga nung that means because we were, the talks were only 15 minutes. So pag namiss ka, wala na. But there we were there for two hours standing and people were asking questions. Of course, the wine, red wine and white wine. Kayo, diba, as you go along, nagbabago na yung presentation. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from that, there were also um, exhibitors. Uh, things that are related to natural. So yung mga construct Mayroon nagkagawa ng mga uh, digital uh, presentations um, that you can, of course, make to order. Kaya tayo yung gumawa. Ah, this is the ICOM booth. And this is the one that makes um, yung mga fiberglass uh, models. Of course, medyo nag-hello lang ako kung natin ng presyo. Mukhang mahal eh. Tsaka doon sa kabila, pati catering. Because what's interesting about museums in the state or elsewhere is they actually rent out the museum for other purposes, weddings, other functions. They have an internal catering. So that's why they have a booth for catering. So here's an interesting um, set. So this actually is one part of the Anthropocene. It was the, uh, the exhibit on extinction. Of course, I'm the new Siberian. Ah, no, this is, uh, this is a Siberian tiger. Um, of course, Dodo, a very good replication of the one. Actually, the few nice replications of the uh, extinct Dodo. The Mauritius, I think, you know, George. George from Galapagos. I think that he's going to the original specimen. Oh, the original specimen. Oh, they also had um, Bourbon biodiversity species they find around Pittsburgh. Quite interesting, they said coyote, fox, raccoon, wood, uh, wood duck, rabbit, uh, badger. You find them just around. Your um, Mismo Museum actually, not just part of campus area. Um, here is a I think this was the oh the specimen that represents the first I forgot the name again. Um yung pangalan yung goat. Siya yung uh nilagyan ng jeans ng spider. The spider goat. So yung milk niya paglabas ay spider web. Oh, yeah. So siya yung insert ng gene from the spider. So no matay siya, hindi siya. So, kasama siya doon sa exhibit on modified. Siyempre, kasama na yung mga uh, gene-modified species. Um, after the, I think, hindi ko na siya natapos actually. The entire set is seven, seven days. I think four days lang. Hindi ko na kundan yung three. Meron pa silang other post-conference so hindi ko na afford punta sa isang uh, forested area. Sayang nga eh, kasi nag-bird banding pala sila doon. Hindi ko na siya. Mahal kasi mag-stay. So, I had to shorten it a bit. Um, what we did attend was, this was the um, book launching for uh, Eric Go Aki Dorfman, yeah, sorry, Dorfman, uh, who was the editor of the entire book, collectively of chapters contributed by members of ICOM that case. And interestingly, in a week or so, they were given for free. Actually, doon pa lang doon sa bag mo, may libre na yan. Pero pag umatayin ka pa dito, pwede ka pa ulit mo ngayon. So, dalawang copy na dalawa ko. Aking ito, ito yun sa oh, St. Florida Museum. But it's really because there's a lot of things that 
we take for granted and ginagawa na pala natin ng literature. Uh, there's one thing that I realized after giving a talk in Siza, na meron pala dito isang chapter on Natural History Museum, Zeus, and Aquariums. <laughs> Kasi yun din yung talk ko sa Siza. So parang sabi ko, ito pala, meron na dito. Anyway, it was, my, it was what we do here in Mika. So ano, maganda sana na nagamit ko siya as referee. So it was part of what our ideas are being done in, at MNH, already being done by ICO. So it's quite interesting. Ilang nakakita na, ang laki-laki pa rin ng kanilang hall. It's very old. It's, it's a heritage uh, conference hall. Nagkwentuhan lang siya about the chapters. It's more about what you think about the chapters. And of course, it answers the question. Ah, sorry, before I leave that, let's go back. This is the iconic uh, display for Carnegie Museum. They are known for that particular display. So it's a film museum. What is that? Lions of Sabo. The Lions of Sabo. So this is the lion that was attacked by so this is uh, also not the next day we have an opening of the exhibit on Anthropocene. So that will be our nature. How do I? The entire set. So living in the Anthropocene. Then we have an opening statement. What the heck is the Anthropocene? What is that? It catches your attention. So this is the, the Carnegie Museum. Apart from uh, the Anthropocene exhibit, they're also famous for exhibits of uh, fossils. Sila is the pinakamalaking dinosaur collection. And the most com the most popular is this dinosaur, Dippy. Although Dippy is no longer in Carnegie, this is a replica of Dippy outside the museum. Dippy is actually that giant dinosaur that you the Natural History Museum of the British Museum. So, um, siya si Dippy. So, kung galing siya si Dippy na punta sa London. So, magka-travel din naman yata si Dippy. What I think amazed me was not just all these amazing collections, was there was a lot of Philippine collections in the Carnet. So, malaki ang kanilang ornithological lecture. And we display nila. Sa dami din ng pungpong hallway, Sige mo, Birds of the World pwede mo display. Pero maraming Birds of the Philippines. Recruiting the Palawang Peacock was on display. Tapos pati dun sa display nila ng herpetological specimens, pero ba, 60 on display, tatlo from the Philippines. So I presume all the other collections, maybe the Sabotani, there would also be a lot of collections in Fall Wars and Fall So yes, that was my giant poster which was on how to use the collections, um, bird skins uh, for uh, finding parasites. Kasama dyan yung paper ni, yung thesis ni Fabregas. There's my own on historical DNA. And then what you can do with trend revolutions. Pwede sabasaba lang namin yung mga studies and what you actually do on analysis using bird skins. Of course, which was a little far from the Anthropocene <laughs> poster. But malaki naman. In preparation, hopefully, if we get funds, um, more um, curators and staff from uh, the MNH will attend the next meeting. The next meeting for the NAT is eh, it's in Israel. For those who want to go to Israel, why not? So even 2018. But I think we're most malapit kasi ng Kyoto. So Kyoto 2019. Also, this is because it's the general meeting of the ICOM. So it's about time that we gain membership with ICON. Okay. Dahil naglipa ko after, kahit nakalipa, alam mo naman, ganun pa din yung pupuntahan mo. So I, so I use my time to go around and visit other museums elsewhere. So this is one of, one of the museums I've always wanted to visit when I was young. Um, Siba sila ko hindi. Yung bata ka tada ka talaga sa dinosaur stage. Prehistoric mammals, rah, 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 kind of saber tooth tiger. So this is saber tooth tiger, mastodon, and the um, giant condor from La Brea targets, right in the middle of Los Angeles. And surprisingly, the museum. 
all the while he's going to be in 20 minutes. Of course, it's a tendency na tayo. Wow. Uy. Pero pag lalakali ko siya kaya siya. It's more, I think, more theatrical. Marami silang video rooms. So papanoorin mo na lang si Ice Age, papanoorin mo na lang yung mga documentaries. Baka apat nga yung shows eh. But they'll exhibit actually pa ikot lang siya ng hindi. Even though they have a lot of specimens. Uh, yes, quite near. In just two, two and a half hours. Actually, four hours, I'm going to be driving to Papa Pico. And it's amazing because you see a lot of Philippine species still kept. Actually, it's so much that you can here. Last time I was there was because I visited San Diego Zoo on official trip to see the Calamian deer. Sadly, one of them. So they. Dumami sila, magot sila ng Ben. It's water that is in Yeah, and they had what they call wasting disease. So. Slowly na ubo siya, hindi na sila nag-breed. At first, pinipigil na pa nila mag-breed kasi nga doon parang kambing. Hindi yung pagkakakumpare. They bred like goats. But eventually, siguro in-breeding depression as well. Of course, there's others. Mindanao lorikeet. This is, of course, the Hygosaurus and the Pardanus. Kaming guy. I'm sorry, Pardanus Olidaceous. Uh, of course, I went to other smaller nearby zoos. Uh, there's one in around Orange County, um, which is this one. They had a very small zoo then, but a compact one. It's more for, like a children's zoo. Irvine Park had a lot of the California species, uh, like this mountain lion. And down by the coast, they had the big aquarium or the aquarium of the Pacific. So apart from all the giant uh, whale specimens, life styles, blue whale, the giant aquariums. They also had an exhibit on frogs. And move on a project palaka. So check a picture, picture, get us as many ideas as I could. And looking back at those exhibits, we're doing fine. So yeah, collectively we're all the museums have kind of passed or took a photograph, right? including the arts. Uh, this is a science museum for kids. Kami lang yata yung adults na pumasok na. Apart from mga nagdating. Ito yung art area ng Carnegie. This is the architecture area. There's also a memorial museum. This is the Spanish um, Spanish settlement. This is uh, San Diego. And the library carpets have this an enclosed area. Um, San Diego Zoo, Orange County Zoo. Uh, ooh, kapalit pala ko. Ito, Irvine. Orange County, parang Irvine Park. Ito yung malaking aquarium ng uh, Aquarium to the City. Of course, they have it. More in San Diego Zoo. And inside, I also went to uh, an interesting botanical garden in Pittsburgh. <laughs> So coming back, arriving from the airport, there is a conference na atin, and of course, which we collaborated with Abilon Zoo. Uh, but she feels Zeus uh, was the season, for those of you who season, season 2017. Of course, it's the um, second time that the Philippines has hosted uh, the season conference. Um, we just been celebrating life nature closer to people and people closer to nature. Sounds funny? It's actually two themes of both the, the motto of Avilon and MMH together. So it was held in Manila. So we convened practitioners, stakeholders uh, from the ASEAN countries, but actually it also participated by other known zoos from Asia and the Pacific, and even from uh, Europe and America. And Pomatendang, Chester Zoo, uh, was Bronx Zoo was also there. So because they had state, they had projects. Uh, so they have projects that are within Southeast Asia. That's the idea. Again, their stakeholders, not just the ASEAN zoos, but also the stakeholders. Of course, one they had a visit at the Museum of Natural History. Naalala ko may isa tuwan ko asya. 
Isa lang daw ang comment niya. Ano daw yung mga nakasabi pa dalawang ibo na yun? <laughs> so bukas, baka patanggal ko na. <laughs> Everything was fine. Yun lang daw yung siya nabibig ko ba? <laughs> so apart from that, uh, we were able to present uh, 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 talks in the plenary of the panel sessions. Uh, the museum curators as well uh, has performed part of the scientific committee. And the chair is Dr. Itisha uh, Farm. Nahirap yung gagawin namin kasi nagpasak din ang namin abstract. Di ba, Ma'am June? Yeah, so it was a two-day affair in Manila and the third day was here, also joining with ACB. And then the fourth day was, fourth and fifth day was in So here's just uh, a set of uh, um, participants. Ganyan yeah, kagulo yung iya, no? Ganyan ang dami nag-participate. Hindi kami makita dyan kasi mga nakaglock na costume blazer. This is the entire uh, contingent from Singapore. Of course, the, as you know, Singapore now is Singapore Parks. Uh, combine na yung um, zoo, the night safari, and this is the talk from the tourism department. How about you? Who's up? What are you together? <laughs> It's an amazing travel. Alam mo kung travel ka, but you're also enjoying it because you're getting a lot of ideas. You're gathering ideas, not just for your own, but also for things that you can do for the museum. Exhibit-wise, even small things. Yung paano siya dedicate, yung mga ganun. Isa nakakatuwa. Ah, pwede mo lang gamitin yun as fun. Like itong basin jar. We often think of it, ah, mukha kasi siyang pickled onions pag binagay mo dyan. The whole set of um, herpetological specimens displayed by the Carnegie Museum were all in these mason jars. This is actually slightly counted from the Philippines. So they say it doesn't have a display. So yeah, it's all right to use mason jars. Yes, if you notice, the big ones are flat TVs in the museum. They also were used at the uh, National Museum. But there is an image interesting in it. Of course, they had the space, La Brea had this long timeline. In geologic timeline, what happened, what species occurred. But if you look at it, it's just a glass panel with fluorescent lights at the back. Which is what we do here the same, at the museum. And still effective up to now. As we need to expand the cages, see the real entourage. It's a red carpet event at the soft launch of the natural, National Museum of Natural History. And yes, that thing in the middle of the tree light is an elevator. <laughs> so yeah, we were welcomed by Director Barnes and Deputy Director uh, Labrador. And Dave. And Dave. <laughs> so, it's just again that you see the same sets of standards. So, is the Philippines at par? Yes, we are. Of course, with more money, more funding. Yes. But we are, with our, we are at par with global standards in museology. So, with that, I'd like to thank you for your attention. <laughs>